Hey everyone, John Henry here, SlingshotFutures.com, and welcome to the Market Mindset, where we take a look at the psychology behind the moves today so we can better understand it tomorrow. And today we're taking a look at the wheat futures. Now, the wheat futures overall aren't a big mover by any means. They're not something that's going to go rip roaring a thousand ticks or anything, but it is a fairly consistent market in the way that it operates. Now, we open up today based off of yesterday or in this case it, that would be friday and it has a very similar appearing appearance to it we open up with a gap up just inside of about halfway into yesterday's price action right looking at yesterday's price action we open up in the top third or so uh and the same kind of situation happens where we have a big bear candle down and it pushes down and fills the gap we have the exact same thing here where we look at friday's price action and we open up in about the top half to top third area and a very strong bear bar down. Very likely that we're going to be able to pull off a quick scalp to the downside to grab that gap fill. And that's really about it. Now it did slide through a little bit here, so we're probably going to get a little bit of a slide through here. But once we got that confirmation of this is following along pretty perfectly with the way that Friday works. It's the same thing. Uh, we had a nice little bottom put in with a double bottom on a doji. Turned higher into a bull candle. Not really a whole lot of emphasis there. That's not going to get the buyers super geared up thinking, oh yeah, we finally have that double doji buy that we've been waiting for. Not really something that's said very often, especially when it's followed through with this candle right here. Very weak bullishness. But then we come in and we push down or push up rather even more aggressively with a very strong bull bar. And when we look at Friday's price action, that kind of same situation happened here as well. We had a kind of a failed move up and then they got a strong push higher here to continue back up. Now, in the case of Friday, they didn't get out through that new high of day, but in this case, we did, right? We had some pretty good follow through, beautiful bull bar that continued up to the high of day with a great little move there. We pulled back to the moving average, and this is something that I really, I, one of my favorite types of, not necessarily patterns, but just candlestick types of formations, where you have this big, weak bar, it doesn't matter how it looks, just a big, weak bar, in this case, this guy right here, that leads into an inside little tiny bar, and then they try to break out of that candle, but they can't get a close underneath it, right? They close, in this case, right on the bottom, and that's usually a pretty good sign that there is something wrong. They had an inside bar, and inside bars are something that a lot of traders will look for just by themselves. And when one side fails the breakout, it usually goes through the other side with quite a bit of aggression. So in this type of situation here, we have a nice, well, not nice, it's a terrible looking candle, but a big bear breakout candle that didn't get anywhere. An inside bear bar that had a breakout attempt and it failed. Likely, it's going to go back through the other side for a potential buying opportunity to push the market back up to a new high once again. And that sort of continues this bull channel that we're kind of running into at that point in time. So just a great overall look for a failed breakout to the downside to continue it right back out through the other end. Now, of course, you're running into the moving average and you've got a lot of other levels of confluence there too. But just a great example of trapping in one side and shoving it right back down their throats into the stops to force another move back up. So just a great overall day uh, it, for the wheat market in terms of patterning. Really slow day today, so there was definitely a lot of patience needed. But as long as you stayed patient, you probably did all right. So hopefully you learned something, hopefully you found it interesting, maybe a little bit useful and entertaining, and we'll see you next time.